So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys, I'm going to showcase to you how you get this incredible sword called the Falvey Sword of Saint Trina. This one puts your foes to sleep, it's one you don't want to miss. How's it going guys, my name is DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So the Falvey Sword of Saint Trina, a great little weapon, hits fast, hits hard, but also puts those foes to sleep what's not to like about this thing so the weapon itself let's take a closer look at it so scales with strength dexterity and that intelligence uh, requires 10 strength 12 dexterity and 14 of that intelligence but causes eternal sleep build up not bad whatsoever so what does that do well we can see there unique skill mist of eternal sleep releases a velvety purple mist that spreads across a wide frontal area afflicts falls with eternal sleep very cool, very cool indeed. Cannot wait to see what people build around this. Putting them enemies to sleep would be a badass thing. Now, what I will say is this is just a weapon that's lying there waiting for you to pick up. It's just a bit of a trick to get to it. But we're going to go from the very start because that's how we like to do things. Well, first things first, guys. So what is actually happening here is this weapon is locked within here. The stone coffin for sure right at the bottom of the map. The path is blocked by a curse which you basically clear out by going up to the shadow keep so once you take out relena or take the secret path around and make it you can make your way to this area high road crosses the nearest grace point to get into it uh, when you first come here come down this road and you'll come to the shadow keep upon you first coming here you'll get a message pop up on your screen saying that something about a great rune has been destroyed and sold to you with it a powerful charm once that powerful charm and you get that message is done you basically just come down to this area right here and can grab it again you don't have to do anything to scope to the shadow keep you get that message on screen and you're done there okay so we're gonna make our way down to this place right here and that's quite a trek you need to come to or from a couple of graces and as usual guys i'll put timestamps in the video description from each individual grace in case you have got these unlocked so we'll come so we actually start from the castle front i'll show you exactly the route we're going to take so we're going to come from here come down to the elite river cave we're going to come down to the Elite River downstream, then down to the Cerulean Coast, then to the Cerulean Coast, cross our way around, and we're going to end up at the Fissure, come down to the Stone uh, Coffin Fissure, then to the, I think it's this one here, yeah, the Fissure Cross, and from here, guys, it's just sitting there waiting for us to, it's actually in a little hidden cave, but hey, we'll get to it. So we're going to go firstly, guys, to the Castle Front. So let's just go here. And we're going to make our way all the way around. Again, timestamps to Gracie's in the video description. If you've already got them unlocked, it just saves us a bunch of time. So from here, guys, jump on your mount and you want to head this way right here, which is right about southeast. Avoid all enemies. Uh, nothing really hard hitting on the way at all, to be honest. You can get here quite, quite easily. A few little jumps you have to do, but other than that, you are good. And then, guys, we're going to head this way. We're going to go towards that swampy area. Now there is a shortcut down to this swampy area and the cave you're going to run into but it means you have to scale down the side of a mountain it's easy to fall off and die so we may as well take the direct route right now which is what we're doing okay so we're going to keep coming this way keep coming down past all these big old foes the two of them there is waiting for you i'm going to see this swamp now this swamp is home to some fruity flowers but don't let them fool you they will poison your ass. So pass these guys. Pass these guys and come straight down. And this way right here. Back into this other swamp. Then guys, we're going to take a slight left and head towards that guy, that figure in the distance right there. Let's run towards him. Then guys, we're going to go this way and jump down and take a left run past this big flower just like so and into this cave just like this take a slight left up here and follow it through we'll come to a grace now uh, it's actually just around this second corner so not this one but the next one and this will be the Elac River grace I do believe let's have a quick look there we are right there Elect River Cave Grace. Okay, so pushing on from that Grace because I'm not going to lie, I just completely missed my jump and died. 
<laughs> Which you don't want to do. So, yep, come to this point, guys, and double jump here. There we go. Don't just walk straight down like I did, like an absolute idiot. Jump this way. Jump this way, and you're good. Now we're just going to jump this way, and now, guys, you can actually hit the floor without dying. You should be fine. Now we're going to run past these annoying birds. And keep your finger on that boost button, that sprint button, because these guys can be absolutely annoying. The sprint and dodge weave because that happens and they just clap you. Absolute pain in the asses. I think I've only ever got there through there once without being hit. And I've run through here about 20 times, maybe more. So I'll stick into the right hand side, come down onto these rocks. Just like so. And just like so. We then guys come to the other grace. This is the Elac uh, River downstream. Yes it is. Now we're going to push down to the Cerulean Coast. Quite easy from here guys. Stick to the right. Come down these rocks. Just like this. No double jumping. Just walk off. Or run off even. Just like this. Keep coming. And keep coming. And just come this way. Now you can go in the water. You're completely fine here. You ain't got to worry about that. I'm just going to progress up and past that big old crab waiting to pinch you in the middle of the stream. And I'm just going to stick right, running past the fire golem or fire giant, whatever you want to call him. So I keep coming this way. Stick right. Don't want to get hit by one of his attacks because he's an absolute pain in the ass. So I keep coming this way, guys. Just like this. If you do hear any of his attacks, just jump. Try and time it and just double jump. And you want to run up here. Now we're coming to the best part or the best looking place in the whole DLC. The Cerulean Coast. Beautiful. Okay, so now guys, we're going to push on down to the Cerulean Coast Cross. That's literally just a straight head. There will be a dragon in the middle of your path, which you want to run straight around. Easy as that. So it's going to run, take a little bit of a detour. We don't want him breathing whatever he breathes on us because that won't end nicely. For him that is. So we're just going to keep coming this way. And keep running. Simple as this. So now guys we're going to head up this hill. And there's another grace where we want to be. Right on that bend. Just by that rock ahead of us. Map is there though guys on your right hand side if you haven't grabbed it already. So now we're just going to take a bit of a left and we can see it right there. There we have it. So we are now at guys the Cerulean Coast Cross Grace. Okay so from here we want to make our way, well I'll actually show you the grace first. So we want to make our way towards that, that hilltop there. Past that sort of like weird horse carriage thing. Okay, so we're going to run around this corner. Just like that. So head northwest slightly from that grace. And then, guys, we're going to take a detour around that, that bend. Now, there will be a guy here who's going to be trying to throw things at you. Who is a bit of a pain in the ass. But hey, as long as you avoid his attacks, you are all good. So yep, come this way guys. Watch his attack, watch his attack. Ow, 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 ow. Dodge it, there we go. I run past him. Doesn't really get a chance to throw another one at you, so you're good there. From here guys, just run up these slight small steps. Take a right and jump over. Where that bird's sitting. Just like so. Now from here guys, we scale down into this massive hole. It's quite far, it's not too bad to be honest. Okay, so from here guys, let's put on the light. It might get a little dark in here. And I almost missed my first jump straight away. You don't want to do that. And again, no sprinting, just walking. 
Taking your time, taking it easy. Now there will be a few enemies here. He will try to latch onto you. A pain in the ass these enemies are. There's loads of them down in this cave system. We should do want to explore if you haven't been here already. There's loads of great loot down here. But this is probably the best thing that I've gotten from down here for sure. Okay, so just drop down again. Just keep dropping down again. And again, you can see that grace point right down there. Now we want to turn back on ourselves and go this way. Past all these enemies that are just sitting there chilling. And then we want to drop down onto this grace. And this grace is... I'll we'll have to rest it. The Fure, which is right here on the map, guys. Now this is the cave. You'll see that is blocked off if you don't go to the Shadow Keep. And you get that message about the powerful charm has been removed. That will be blocked off. So yeah, you won't be able to progress. So make sure you go to that Shadow Keep if you haven't already. I don't know why I did that. Because as soon as you jump on your horse, you get kicked off it right here. So yeah. So let's follow this short path now, guys. We're almost out where this weapon is hiding. So we are good. So we will now, guys, come to the stone coffin for sure. And that's the grace point there, the stone coffin for sure. Right there. So from here, guys, we're just going to run this way. Uh, it's only like a couple more drop downs and we get it. So I'll come this way. And then we want to jump across there, just like so. Run around this corner. Dodge this big old fat ball. And then we just want to jump off here. Yep, you do not die. You're good. So now, guys, run straight this way. And we'll come to the last grace before we go and obtain this sword. Ignore these guys. Dodge past them. Do what you gotta do. You see that grace right there. Put a cross right next to it. So from here, guys, you can see where we're at. I must just sit down because the enemies are on us again. So we are right here guys, the Fisher Cross, that's where we need to be. So from here guys, you want to head in that direction this way. So slightly coming back on yourself, coming northwest, and jump up these rocks that is. And on this corner you'll see that you can drop down slightly, just like so. So drop down here, drop down there, drop down again, and then you want to drop down this way. Just like so, and inside this cave, as you're seeing on screen now, from my pre-recorded footage, and this weapon is just sitting there at the very end, and watch the enemies falling from the ceiling, they will latch onto your face. And there we have it guys, that is how you get the amazing Velvet Sword of Saint Trina. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.